I have another satisfying organizing and decluttering video for you today. I'll be sharing all the tips and tricks I found for organizing and decluttering our playroom. I'll also share our system for rotating out toys to prolong their use. Step number one, I'm gonna take all the toys and everything from around our house and bring them right in here to the playroom. Toys are bound to get spread all throughout your house. There is no stopping it but by decluttering them and limiting them to how many they can pull out at one time will really save you on the amount of time you spend cleaning it all up. I did decide to leave all the books here in our living room because this is where we always sit and read them together, but I am gathering all the toys because it's easier to get rid of things when you see it all in one spot. Now that I gathered everything that was scattered throughout our house into the playroom, I'm going to start bringing everything to the center of this room so that I can easily go through it and decide what things we're going to keep, donate, or toss. Our daughter is only one and a half, so I did this while she was napping, but if your kids are older, this could definitely be a step they help out with. You could tell them to just make a mountain with all their toys. I'm sure they would have so much fun doing this. So I've gathered everything to the center of the room here. I also just put all the stuffed animals onto the couch here. We'll be going through all of these. And then I've always just kept the things that Cecilia needs help with up here. So we will be organizing this stuff in a little bit. All the bigger items that can't really be organized into the corner here so that they're just out of the way right now. The next step when decluttering is to go through every single item one by one, put it into different piles dedicated to either keeping, donating, or tossing. This is a great step to have your kids help too if they're old enough or if you have a young toddler like me, just think about what toys they actually play with, what toys they've outgrown, and what toys are just collecting dust. As I'm going through everything and putting things into different piles, I'm also trying my best to put all the toys that have multiple items back together, like these puzzles, but I'm just quickly doing this. Once everything is sorted, I'll focus more on organizing everything. So here are my assorted piles, everything we're going to be keeping. So I will be organizing all of this. Normally my donation pile, but we are expecting another baby. So I will be keeping all of this so that we can still use it later. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I like to think that we throw things away as we need to. So this is everything that I will be throwing away. And then this little pile over here are things that just don't belong in here. So I'm going to be bringing them back to their home. So that I have more room to organize my keep pile, I'm going to take care of all the other piles first. So I'm throwing away the trash, putting away the things that don't belong in here, and taking care of what would be my donation pile, but I will be storing away because we have baby number two coming on the way. All right, it's a little bit random, but if you have something you need to hide behind these shelves from your toddler, like this router, this used to be our office. So I made this out of the box for the bins that go into these shelves so it fits perfectly. Covered it with the same wallpaper I have behind it so it's going to match and look and hide this completely. I got a pack of eight of these off of Amazon and I'm so excited to use these. They're extremely sturdy and I found them for the best price on Amazon. I'm starting by organizing the really obvious groups of toys that need their own bin, like these large mega Lego blocks. And we have some magnetic tiles. Regular blocks are also a popular toy for us. And then from there, I narrowed down the groups even more by what I had left. So the groups I ended up with were baby dolls, kitchen supplies, puzzles, books, and figurines. So I had decided to use only bins for half the cubbies in here because I have wallpaper on the other side that I really wanted to showcase. So instead of putting these toys into bins, I'm choosing a few now just to display in these cubbies. Next, we'll be making some picture labels for these so Cecilia can easily put them away when she's ready. So I went on to Google image search and searched for pictures that went with each of my categories, like the mega blocks and the magnetic tiles. I tried to pick pictures that would make it as easy as possible to distinguish what should go into that bin that we will be attaching it to. After printing them out, I used our laminator. I am extremely happy with this one. It is so easy to use, so I'll link it in the description for you. But this will protect the picture and make it last even longer. 
This laminator also came with the trimmer and this edge cutting tool. I wanted to make these temporary because I know these bins will change as Cecilia gets older. So I'm using the Velcro on the back of these to attach them to the bins. So it will make it easier to change these out when we need to. Cutting down or decluttering the amount of toys your kids have has been proven to help kids' imaginations and play because they aren't as overwhelmed by the amount of toys and just stuff around them. I'll link some great articles about this below, along with everything else I've used to decorate and organize this room. We will be moving on to organizing the top next, but Cecilia thought these labels were so fun. She just wanted to point at the pictures and say what they were. She's not quite to the age of being able to put things away, but I know she will be very, very soon. I'm going to move on to the top shelf here. This shelf has all the things that I don't want Cecilia playing with alone, like Play-Doh, paints, and things like that. I got these bins off Amazon as well, and we'll link them below. I think they are fantastic quality and super sturdy. There are multiple colors too, but I chose these blue ones to match the blue in the wallpaper behind them. Cecilia is only one and a half, so she is just barely getting started with Play-Doh, paints, and arts and crafts. So I'm allotting a lot more space for these than I actually need as of right now, because I know she's going to end up getting more, but when she does, it will be limited to this space that I have already created. And so these are the bins that Cecilia needs supervision to play with. What's inside, I decided to just make regular word labels with my Cricut rather than making the pictures. If you don't have a Cricut, you can always find labels just like the ones I'm making on Etsy.com. I'll link any of the ones that I find in the description below for you. I could have made some iron-on labels for these, but just like the other bins, I know as time goes on, what's in them will change. So I didn't want them to be permanent, so I used regular adhesive vinyl, which worked out really well, and I'll just be able to peel them off whenever I'm ready to change them. Just a quick tip if you do have a Cricut, just in case you didn't know, you can reuse the transfer tape multiple times. So I used the same strip for all four of these bins. These are our craft closets on either side, and I made a really satisfying video on how I organized these, so I'll link it below for you to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Next, I'll be decluttering all of these stuffed animals. I'm just making a keep pile and a donate pile. A lot of these stuffed animals are actually ones that I had growing up, and then we got a bunch from our baby shower and just different gifts. It's definitely easy for stuffed animals to get out of control. For now, I'll be keeping her stuffed animals right here on the futon, but I am keeping my eye out for a large hamper or a plastic bin to put them in. If you are looking for other ideas for stuffed animals, here are a few others that I found on Amazon that I thought were super cute. I picked up everything off the floor because there is nothing like finishing off an organized room with a good vacuum and a mop. This wood floor is actually foam interlocking mats. They are so nice and also an amazing Amazon find. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.